It's time, guys. It is Monday night, and I am here with a pretty incredible friend. And I know a lot of you are going to jump on kind of as the evening goes. So let me scroll to the comments. And then as you guys are jumping on, we just want to hear who you are, where you're from. And then, oh, Scott, you're already on it. This is awesome. Jason, Tracy. Hi, Tracy. I'm so glad to see you here. So it's Monday night, and hopefully you're like us. Every day you're oiling, and you're here ready to learn something new, hopefully connect with our community, and um, just eat each other here in the comments. And Find out what oils fit you. How do these even like make sense in your life? And you're going to hear from us every week with a special guest. So this week, my special guest is a very, very good friend of mine. And we have done a lot of life together over, gosh, it's probably been almost the last eight years or so, Kel. It's been quite some time. And um, it's really good to have friends like that who can just keep you on the right track, tell you when you're screwing things up and tell you when you're doing things great and keep it real with you. So um, if you don't have a Kelly couch in your life, I would encourage you to go get one. Um, and in the meantime, let's go ahead and take a hot minute here. Tell us who you are and where you're from in the comments. And then um, let us know who told you about tonight. And you're going to see Bo in the comments. He's, um, you should show them your really attractive outfit tonight, babe. You, you look like you want to see the legs and everything? Well, no, just like what's happening with your face. I, so this is cool. And this is yes. really... And I'm like listening to yeah, you guys. I don't know. I don't know what all the media is happening on here. But it's a lot of media. Good. Yes. All the, all the, all the meats. Oh, he's yes. so media centric. Yes. So, um, so Bo's going to be on here. And first thing that he's going to do is just total disclaimer, guys. If you've seen anything about central Texas, you know, we have like all these storms. Don't worry. We're totally safe. No storms, no tornadoes in our city, but the storms have made um, our internet kind of unpredictable. So what we want to do is make sure that if this is a topic you really wanted to talk about, learning about oils and how to like kind of peel back the layers to see what's toxic in your home and how can you make a healthier swap for that? How can we start to um, heal our bodies by removing the things that are toxic? Then you're going to want to hit... Um, the link that Bo's going to drop right here. And this is going to say giveaway. And we are giving away. We always give away. So we're giving away a Digest Send Touch tonight. Kelly's going to talk to you all about your gut and you're going to know why you love Digest Send. But more importantly than that, in case our internet kicks out, then we want to get this information to you and don't want you to miss it. So make sure you leave your contact information and we will send an email out to follow up with everybody who comes tonight. So I'll repeat that a couple of times through here, just so you know to go back to that link, but it's bettertogetherlife.com slash giveaway, right, babe? I think he, I think he knows that. Yes, he's on it. There we go. Okay. So without further ado, I have to show you and introduce you to my wonderful friend, Kelly. Yes, we are both Kellys. And yes, you spell our names the exact same way. My last name is Brotherton. Hers is Couch. And so when we stand in line to like go check in somewhere, we get to be in the same lines because it's always like A through D, right? So um, Kelly is here and I just have to brag on her a little bit because it's kind of unbelievable um, when you get amazing friends in your life. But when they come with such incredible incredible, um, giving hearts and have so much to offer. I can't not share that with you. So I'm going to read the bio because I won't do her justice if I don't, but let me just share with you about this lovely woman you see sitting kind of across from me, like kind of across through the internet. Okay. So Kelly is a wife and a homeschooling mom. She's a health coach and a beloved daughter of God. She's on a mission to help people heal and feel amazing. And honestly, guys, I could stop it right there, but there's so much more about what Kelly brings to our team. And to those of you who are on it, you're involved in our Facebook group and you hear how her heart for research sets things on fire. And she is not not afraid to ask hard questions or to dig in deep with you. And I don't know if she's ever met someone that she wasn't willing to totally give her time and her attention to. 
So she left a career as a physician assistant after 10 years of working night shifts in emergency medicine. You can imagine the stress and strain that that comes with. I know a lot of you guys are working in the medical field right now, so you can probably relate. That's where her healing journey began. After years of battling adrenal fatigue, she and her children were diagnosed with a biotoxin illness, a mold illness. She's been on the journey back to feeling amazing for herself and her kids and anyone else who wants to come along with her. It's such a privilege to be here with you tonight, Kelly. Um, She is a diehard researcher, guys. She asks the hard questions and absolutely is this trusted source for helping people find natural solutions and learning how to use essential oils in their household. Um, She is with you guys here tonight because this is her passion for people to find out about the better options and then like we've said before, not just to um, know better and do better, but to have the tools to make that connection. And it's absolutely the drive of Kelly's heart in everything that she does from sharing the gospel to helping people connect with what's really good and find the solutions. This has been a blessing and you guys are absolutely um in for a treat to get to be with Kelly tonight. So Kelly, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing your expertise and your time. Um, Kelly has so many interesting stories about their life and she's going to share some of them with you tonight. Um, So get out your notepads and take notes on this, guys. You're not going to want to miss a second. Do not get up to pee. Get your coffee with you like now because you know we're caffeinated um, and we need We need you guys to just dig in and ask the questions. You know how to use the chat now, so make sure you hang with that. Um, Kelly, I'm going to shout out to just a couple of people as you get your slides ready. Um, So I see Jason Chapel is here and the Botterfs. Botterfs, I think you got well acquainted with Kelly in the last month. She was telling me how much she loved having you guys there. Um, Mary Ellen Cook, hey! And the city stead, I'm glad you guys jumped in city stead. And Scott Holzman, you're here too from Montana. There you go, guys. All right. If you haven't already, make sure um, if you want to see these Monday nights come up as it's time, then you will... Um, Like every Monday night, you'll get a little alert as long as you hit, it kind of looks like a bell over in the corner of our video, and then you'll get an alert every time we go live. So without further ado, let's take a listen to Kelly, and she's going to talk all about the switch to um, a detoxed lifestyle. Kelly, take it away, sister. Can I come back like every Monday just to have somebody say such awesome things about me? Everybody get the chance to just have a Kelly Brotherton in their life. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> she's like the best cheerleader ever. Those of you that know her or getting to know her in the chat, like you got to tell us your favorite, like cheerleading moment about Kelly Brotherton because she is. <laughs> she'll just cheer you on and hold your hand and not afraid to cry with you or hug you or have mascara running down your face. And Kelly, it's actually been 10 years because I met you before I married Andrew and we're going on nine years. So it's That's crazy. It's been 10. So, so what good. a fun community you guys have. Just what a fun, just the better together group and community and the followers and from Montana to Texas to California and just all over. What just an awesome opportunity to share and just connect and get to know new people. So I'm just honored to be here. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to share something that is really passionate to me. Um, so we're going to talk about make the switch and like Kelly B mentioned, I, Kelly C am a little bit of a research junkie. So if you love science, you're going to love me. If you (laughs) don't love science, you're going to have to bear with me for just a few minutes. I promise you can like tune me out if you need to, and I'll tell you when to come back in. But one of the things I love even more than research is helping people move into action. So I'm really good at simplifying those steps and helping people move into action. Some people might uh, call it pushy. I like to call it challenging, but I like to challenge you. I like to encourage you to take a step. And tonight, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to encourage you guys to at least consider making the switch. That's what we're going to call it. And we'll show you exactly what that means. But I have two really big jobs tonight. One of them Kelly told me I had about 30 minutes. I do not promise to stick to that, but I will do my best. But one of them is to, shall I say, convince you guys 
that living a detox lifestyle in this day and age is really important um, and even life-saving um, in some circumstances. And the second, though, is once I've given you sort of the heaviness of that, which I'm just warning you I'm going to do, the second part is to make it so easy for you to make the switch. And and doTERRA made that life-changing for us. It made it so easy. And Kelly knows this story, and some of you here know it, but I'll share it with you guys that don't. But before I do that, I want to take you on just a little journey. Kelly, are my slides good? Can you see the green chemical life? So good, Kel. It's, it's great. So you guys, this is a little bit of bad news, okay? How many of you slept on a mattress last night? Chat, chat with us if you slept on a mattress last night. Okay, yes. How many of you wore pajamas of some sort or maybe had children that wore pajamas? Um, how many of you woke up and brushed your teeth or took a bath or took a shower? Probably not all of us. I got to admit, I did not. I did brush my teeth. I did not take a shower this morning. Um, you used maybe bath products, maybe you used skincare products, hair care products. You might have used makeup. Um, you might have put on clothes. It's a good idea that had been washed in scented laundry detergent, or maybe those dryer sheets sound like a really good idea. I mean, who doesn't want to smell like Mountain Spring, right? Anybody use Mountain Spring today? Um, maybe you ate cereal for breakfast. I'm going to talk about why that could be a problem in just a minute. Um, anybody sit in line at Starbucks? Anybody sit in line behind another car and received some of the exhaust fumes? Did anybody buy a Starbucks? No, sorry. I just like put a knife in her heart right now. Um, plastic, a little plastic lid that they put on the Starbucks cup that now steams and lets you build with chemicals coffee. Maybe you took your food to, I do. I often hear people say, okay, so there's chemicals everywhere. I can't live in a bubble. What the heck am I going to do? And that's kind of the two choices. You can throw your hands up and think, well, you know, can I say screw it? Like, oh, well, like heck with it, right? Like you can just kind of throw your hands up and say that. But we can't do that because we can't ignore that um, cancer, heart disease, diabetes, thyroid problems, obesity, um, attention deficit disorder, all these things are on the rise and crazy things like I have called SIRS, CIRS, chronic inflammatory response syndrome, MCS, multiple chemical sensitivities, POTS, postural orthostatic tachycardia. I know all you non-sciencey people are going to hate me, but like this is the alphabet soup that we have now and it's all due to our environment. That's the point I want to hone in now. Everything I just explained to you about how you start your day, many of us, these are environmental factors that are contributing to toxicity in our body that are making us sick. In fact, there's an entire branch of medicine now known as environmental medicine. Doctors that specialize in nothing but looking at how our environment is making us sick. And I don't know, Kel, how many people have kids, you think? Half, more than half of your group have kids, right? Yeah, I think this is, if not kids, grandkids for sure. This is such a big deal for us, but also for our kids, because I'll show you in a minute how our kids are growing up in a world that I'm sorry, your grandparents did not grow up in, right? Yeah, your grandparents grew up on the farm, they ate bacon, and they did this, and you know, they're fine. They didn't grow up with glyphosate. They didn't grow up with the things that we're growing up with. So this is my awkward family Christmas photo. This is my sweet husband, Andrew, who I think is 38, and my little girls who are four and six, and myself who is 46. I'll let you guys do the math on that. 10 years ago, I worked for 10 years in emergency medicine. Like Kelly said, it was awesome. I was really good at it. I like to tell people what to do. That does not work well in my marriage. And the night shift started to just really take a toll. And I would diagnose with the catch-all adrenal fatigue. Anybody in the comments, if you've ever been told you have adrenal fatigue or adrenal dysfunction or HPA axis, which is called, um, hyperthyroid, pituitary, adrenal dysfunction. Um, these are all the same things. And they're kind of catch-all phrases for something that is always going on underneath. It's never just the adrenals. But I didn't know that 10 years ago. And so 10 years ago, we chased this sort of adrenal fatigue. And sort of fast forward, we bought our dream home in the country, right? Right about the same time that Kelly and Bo bought their property way before they were able to move into it. We bought our dream home and we were fortunate to be able to move into it and not fortunate because we maybe rushed into it a little bit and the house was full of mold, full of mold. Chickens, had to get rid of the chickens, had to get rid of the goats, everything, lost everything through everything we owned away, super sanctifying. And then some friends of ours gave us an RV. 
Long story there, we lived in that for almost a year. And then we found out the RV had mold and we knew nothing about cross-contamination at the time. We knew nothing about everything we know now. So we threw everything away for the second time. And you can see behind me, I don't know if you noticed this, but this is an RV. That's why I'm talking to you from my bedroom because there's only the bedroom and the kitchen and the kids' room. So we still live in an RV, which has been really a huge blessing of teaching us to simplify. So all the tiny house people, do we have some tiny shed the house convergence here in the group? Okay, so I live in a really tiny shed the house. In fact, we came to Kelly and Bose to help them build their patio. And I was like, this is huge. y'all. this is incredible. It's so beautiful. So we live in an RV. It's been a little bit of a challenge, but it's because we all got really, really sick. And just to fast forward, one of the reasons that, that I'm so passionate about this topic is because it was our environment that made us sick. It was the things I exposed myself to, the things I exposed my kids to, the things I cleaned my house with, um, the mold that we had in our house, just the environment is what just took a total toll on us. And today um, I'm improving. I've done, you know, years of research on this and years of treatments, but I still wake up in a lot of pain. I still have a lot of brain fog. There's still steps that we have to take. But one of the things that I'm just so unbelievably grateful for is doTERRA came at a time for me when I didn't have a choice but to make the switch and they made it so easy because doTERRA has a list of things they'll never put in their products and it was just so easy for this super tired mama to go under her sink throw everything away and know that a bottle of On Guard, which we'll tell you about, and some vinegar or some water is all I needed to clean my house. Mm -hmm. Like a bottle of TerraShield was bug spray that actually handled the Texas mosquitoes and I wasn't contributing to the toxicity of my children. Oh, it just made it so, so simple. And that's what I'm going to tell you guys about in a minute. But I feel like I just have some people that need convincing that this like detox life is important. So here's a quote for you. Let me see if I can pull my notes out of the way to read this. Um, let's see. Okay. In the last 50 years, we've seen a dramatic increase in chemical production in the United States. And currently there's been an increase in the incidence of conditions like ADD, autism, childhood cancers, diabetes, and obesity, and this is not just genetic drift. This is written by Tracy Woodward, who is now at um, University of California, San Francisco, but she was one of the former chief scientists at the EPA. And she's basically saying, in the last 50 years, we're seeing a dramatic increase in these types of diagnoses. And it is not that we're just diagnosing more. It is not just that the genetics are shifting. It is directly a product of our environment. She said later on in that article that back then, it was talking about the 50s, we didn't know that the chemicals that were used in our plastic sippy cups and baby bottles would disrupt childhood development by interfering with their hormones that could in turn alter the functionality of their reproductive system or increase their risk of disease for their lives later in life. And I always like to give a little disclaimer here. Um, we can't go backwards, right? Like we, we can't go backwards. We can't look and be mad at our parents for giving us baby bottles or whatever. But I think we can recognize that we need to make different choices for our own children. I think we can recognize that there's things we need to do. And for me, what this showed me is I need to take charge of my health care. I can't necessarily rely on things that are put on the market and maybe told to be safe, right? Teflon's a great example. They're not allowed to use it anymore. It's not going in our pots and pans because it's been proven to be so dangerous. BPA is no longer in our baby bottles, but y'all, it took 50 years to get it out, right? So just huge challenges with that. Okay, making the switch. We want to help you do two things tonight. One, Learn how to reduce the amount of toxins you're exposed to. We call that reducing toxic load. And two, get rid of the accumulated toxins that are in your body. We're going to call that detoxification. Okay, your mission, you guys, should you choose to accept, is throughout the rest of the presentation, you're going to pick two, maybe even three things that you hear that you can do. Simple switches that you can do. And when you hear the thing that you're like, okay, I can do that, drop it in the chat. Okay. And before we even move from the screen, if you accept the mission, drop it in the chat that you're going to take on the mission to change three simple things to reduce toxic exposure or to get rid of the toxins that you've already accumulated. 
Yeah, Kelly, this is a great time to pause real quick and also ask because some people are starting to say, hey, I have this specific thing going on. Let us know what's most important to you because if you have the ear, it's kind of like those movies, you know, where there's like like Parks and Rec. There's a girl who's a nurse on there and when everybody finds out she's a nurse, they want to ask her like all the questions like, what's this weird word on my elbow? And oh, I have this itch behind my ear. Um, Kelly's not going to diagnose anything for you, but what she is, is this mad, crazy scientist researcher. And she's so inspiring, especially for those of us who don't just take some mom's blog for a reference, but like really get down to it. So she's going to cite really specific um, evidence-based, science-based research for you. So don't hesitate or waste this time by not asking hard questions. This is the girl to ask the hard questions of. And so Kelly, when you're sharing this, um, what are the areas that as we're jumping into this and thinking like, hey, number two, helping our body get rid of accumulated toxins and detoxifying. Um, I know you're gonna break this down in some detail, but could you just help us now think through um, what would maybe be two or three, maybe even four things that as people are thinking of detox, maybe they just haven't connected like, oh, this is a product of my environment. Because that's highly concerning. Most of us feel like, oh, this is genetics. The reason I feel this way is because of my genes. But what yours just shared is it may be a product of environment. So what are just a few things that you hear every day? Because I know this is your conversation with people who are asking you for help about... Um, about what we might not even recognize as that toxic effect. Yeah, so this list is basically like, it looks like a catch-all, but some of the most common things I see with increased toxicity are gonna be unreasonable anger. And this mm. is a big one, y'all. I just wanna say this to moms. There are times when you know that you are just hangry, you're hungry, you're grumpy, you didn't get enough sleep, you're not, you know, you're not having self-control. You're just not loving your children well. And we all do that, right? There's times where you just know you need to go take a mommy time out because your kids deserve the best of you when you can give it to them. But I want to say this, there's also times where it feels uncontrollable. Like sleep deprivation is another one. Mm -hmm. Sleep deprivation for the really tired mom is something I have a lot of mercy and compassion for. Another one is high toxicity. So when you have that just unrealistic anger that you just feel like I am out of control, like I am just not a good mom or wife right now. And it's not just today, it's like for weeks, right? Or months, that's a red flag for toxicity. Anxiety and frustration is a red flag because what happens with high toxic burden in your body is your body constantly thinks it's fighting a bear, right? So fight or flight, if you're familiar with that term, you have a sympathetic nervous system and a parasympathetic nervous system. And the sympathetic nervous system is what has you be able to run away from a bear. When a bear shows up, I need to be able to run away. So I have something that kicks in that's called the sympathetic nervous system. And it's that fight or flight response, right? You're going to fight the bear or you're going to run like heck. So what happens with chronic toxin overload is your brain, fancy name, the amygdala part of your brain and the limbic system, thinks that it's a bear that your body needs to run from. So it puts your body in a state of fight or flight. What's really doing is it's fighting an internal toxin. But if you're constantly exposed to that toxin, like I was with mold illness and with some chronic virus and some chemical exposure, your body stays in that fight or flight. And when you stay in fight or flight, you kind of live panicky. People people see you and think you're always on edge. You're kind of hard to deal with. You're kind of not very stable. You're, y'all, I hate to say this. I'm going to try to edit this. My actual doctor today, as I was talking to him about some of my labs said, Kelly, I wouldn't be surprised if people around you think you're bat s crazy all the time. I was like, they do. Oh my God, it's not me. Like, it was amazing. Like, I was going to send it to all my friends. It's like, I, I have been diagnosed as bat s crazy because of my toxic overload. And brain fog, like go to the grocery store, you literally have a panic attack because you can't get everything you want or you cannot remember what you came to the store for. And again, I don't mean like that day because you're tired. That happens to all of us. But when it's ongoing, digestive upset is a big one. When you have high toxic burden, your body can't digest food. You can't fight off pathogens and parasites. You're going to see digestive upset. That could come out as mood disorders. It could come out as skin disorders. A lot of things going on with the brain and the gut, which I could do a whole nother talk on. 
Um, food sensitivities is really common. Environmental sensitivities. You start to notice that you're sensitive to smells more, um, things like that. And then, of course, extreme fatigue because your body's constantly fighting this 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 thing, this, this exposure. And I want to go back one slide real quick and just point out why this is important today versus maybe your parents or grandparents, because this is what we're living in right now. You can see this slide in the early 1900s, the level of pesticides, chemicals, and mycotoxins and heavy metals was very low. In just the 1950s, it almost doubled. And today we are at like four times, 50% in parts per billion, the amount of exposure to heavy metals, chemicals, pesticides, pesticides, and mold. This is just in the 2000s. This is a huge problem. And this is why I want to talk to you guys about a detox lifestyle and not just a detox in January, right? So a detox is great. We have a cleanse and restore program with doTERRA that I do three times a year, every January, every summer, and every fall. It's incredible. And I highly recommend it because once you've built up toxins, you want to get rid of them. However, one of the things we want to talk about today is not building so many up ongoingly detox those things, especially if you have some of these symptoms. And y'all, how many are in Texas? How many do we have in the like Houston area, Kel? Um, honestly, it's all over. We've got some in the Dallas area, some out West, um, a few people in East Texas. Um, I'm trying to think of where everybody's from on here. Well, all but, um, so have people, you guys are at 50% of a better track than those of us living still in the suburbs. We're in an RV, but we're parked in the middle of the suburbs with just the chemical exposure and the EMFs and the super fun sites and things like that. So you're in you're moving in the right direction with at least a little cleaner air. So can we talk about xenoestrogens for just a minute? Does anybody know what that is? If you're a smarty pants, put in the chat what a xenoestrogen is. Do you have any smarty pants, Kelly, do you think? We do have a few smarty pants, and I'm, I'm super interested to see who jumps in first. I know we've got some nurses on here. Okay, well, I'm going to tell them, and if they beat me to it, let me know who got it. So xenoestrogen is a specific type of chemical. There's so many chemicals and pesticides we could talk about, but I want to talk about one type in particular because I think it really highlights why in this day and age, I really think it's critical. It's a critical part of you living well to handle toxic burden. It's as important as a healthy diet. It's as important as good sleep and exercise. I think it's probably the most important thing that we could do. And going back to that other slide, what I've found is for those chronic conditions, for those people with fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome and the C word and um, ADD, ADHD, and just, you know, all, all of those things, what I've found in my walk and what I found as I've worked with so many people now is this has to be addressed at the bottom level. If we don't address toxic burden, if you don't get toxins out of your home and out of your body, taking all the adaptogens for your adrenals in the world is not going to help. Taking all of the supplements for chronic fatigue or fibromyalgia is not going to help. This is critical. And honestly, our doctors are missing it. Even our functional medicine doctors are missing it. They missed it with me for 10 years, which is why I'm on the like rampage to talk about this. So, yeah. A couple of people said, Kel, we got, um, someone said, didn't we touch on Xeno S last week? Um, someone said hormone related, hormone esque related. Um, and then someone said a substance close enough to estrogen, it will bind to you and cause a major issue. Who said that? So, so smarty pants on here. We've got Rocka Blades and that? Jason Chapel and, uh, the Botter Homestead all had those comments. Okay. Okay. Smarty pants. Yes. So for those of you that didn't jump on the smarty pants, let me just tell you, you smarty pants, if you get bored, you can ignore me. Um, hormones work like this. So really simple. It's a lock and key. If you remember it from biology, maybe great. But if you have a, you have a little, um, on every cell receptor site, you have these on every cell surface, you have receptors to specific hormones. So let's say this is my cell and we're just going to say right here, let's use my ring. We'll just say right here is this receptor. And there's literally a key. The hormone looks a certain shape and it has a key and it has to match directly to that receptor and lock in just like a key. So what happens with xenoestrogens is they are like the bully on the playground. Let's say you're on a merry-go-round and you have that bully that wants to just swing it so hard that it throws everybody off. And at first people are laughing, but then he's like mean and won't let anybody else get back on. That's what a xenoestrogen 
it looks enough like an estrogen that it will come along. Not only will it bind to estrogen receptor sites, but it will kick your sweet estrogen off. And the problem with that is, is it has a greater estrogenic effect. It means when it binds to your cells, it does what estrogen is supposed to do, but like ramped up like several times stronger than estrogen. And too much estrogen is actually a big problem for not only women, but also men. Very big problem for both men and women. We might think of estrogen as a women thing, but men are exposed to xenoestrogens in massive amounts and men do not need extra estrogen dominance. This is not a good thing for our sons, our boys, our men. It's a huge problem for our women too. It causes a host of symptoms that I won't get into. Think endocrine disruption, all that red flag. Think, think that, right? All those things it can cause the brain fog, the fatigue, the digestive upset, the, everything. So one of the strongest xenoestrogens, xenoestrogens are just a class of chemicals. A lot of our pesticides are xenoestrogens. Roundup, has anybody heard of that? I'm going to pick on it. It's called glyphosate. 250 million pounds are sprayed in the United States on crops every year. We are now seeing that there's high levels found in kids' cereal. Kids' cereal. The group that's at highest risk for toxicity from glyphosate and xenoestrogens is children aged two to four. Actually, I'm sorry, aged one to two-year-old children at the highest risk for a few reasons. Number Isn't one. scary? We have, we have zero empirical data. We have zero research to show us what growing up, a life growing up exposed to these kind of pesticides and chemicals have. Again, I hear so often, especially my sweet baby boomer friends, which y'all, I'm 46. I'm not far from that generation. So <laughs> I don't like, I'm not, but my sweet baby boomer friends are often like, oh, Kelly, do we really have to worry about this? Like my grandma and like, I didn't, yeah. you know, I ate this and I ate this listen to me, people, you didn't have glyphosate. Okay. You didn't right. have these chemicals. You didn't have these things. So they did a study, environmental working group did a study. The highest glyphosate is found in Quaker chewy granola bars, Cheerios, Lucky Charms, and even nature's something organic, yeah. organic, because there's so much overspray and ground contamination. So big, Big, huge problem, these, these xenoestrogens and glyphosates. It's not just glyphosate, y'all. In fact, I don't know if I have the slide in here. I'll have to see if I took it out. But we avoid glyphosate. We eat all organic, all pastured. Y'all, we, we are like the most annoying friends to have for dinner. I mean, we, like, we are. We are like crunchy as they get. Like Most people think we're a little bit crazy. And even my own kids I tested two months ago for glyphosate. You can do a urine panel. And they had levels that I'm detoxing. And it's because it's everywhere. There's no way to avoid it. So that's why it's so important for us to limit the exposure where we can, because we can't avoid all of it. And that way, what we do take in, I'm going to show you how you can detox your body from it. Okay. One more quick science slide, and then we're going to get into what the heck can we do about this? Okay. The EWG Environmental Working Group this is an awesome resource. If you guys don't have it, Cal or Bo, put it in the chat in case you don't have it, ewg.org. There's a lot of different guides that the EWG has. This one's called the Dirt Top Dirty Dozen Endocrine Disruptors, okay? You'll see a list of, of things here, and we're going to focus on just a few of them. I'm going to focus on BPA for just a second. Now, I mentioned that they phased BPA out now, which is great, but it took 50 years to do it. And they phased it, phased it out because we have clearly seen how it contributes to cancer, reproductive disorders, so many, so many problems. And the problem with all of the baby bottles and sippy cups that were filled with BPA in the 1950s, there's some evidence to say that in utero exposure, like in, in the womb exposure and early life exposure to these chemicals at the levels that I was exposed to, in the in the 1950s to 1970s, I was born in the 1970s, can have lifelong effects on our fertility. And I know this is such a sensitive topic, but who doesn't know someone today that is dealing with fertility issues or recurrent miscarriages? And some of these studies are showing us that some of these chemicals that we were exposed to have lifelong 
effects. And I say that just to say, we can't turn back the clock, but we can do something different for our kids. We can do something different. And it's not just our girls. They're showing lifelong effects on male fertility because of exposure to some of these chemicals. We owe it to our kids to give them a better chance than that. And if we can do something different, why not? And again, I'm going to show you how freaking simple it is to make some of these changes. All right. Phthalates. I'm going to talk about, I'm going to pick on phthalates for a minute. Anybody, any more smarty pants? Talk to me about phthalates. I'm just telling you they're everywhere. They're in wax. They're in paint. They're in children's toys. They're in hair care. They're in makeup. They're in shower curtains. They're in floor tiles. They're in food containers. They're in cleaning products. Perfume, huge. Anything that says fragrance, think phthalate, nail polish, on and on and on and on. Here's the problem. Clearly linked to asthma, attention deficit disorder, breast cancer, obesity, low IQ, neurodevelopmental issues, reproductive development, and male and female fertility issues. I taught this class for a big group. Kelly, I think you were there. And let me tell you some studies I found about phthalates, okay? This, this, is, this was shocking. I just did PubMed. Here's another great research junkie for you guys. PubMed, P-U-B-M-E-D. Kelly, you can put that in the chat. PubMed, just go and type phthalates and you'll see all this come up. Phthalate-induced testicular dysgenesis syndrome. Any smarty pants know what that means? Phthalate-induced testicular dysgenesis syndrome. I'm just going to tell you. It means death to your man parts. That's what it means. Death to your man's part. Death to your little man's parts. Not little man parts, but like your little boy's man parts, right? Death to man parts. This is not good. Another study said phthalates might interfere with testicular function by reducing testosterone. I just want to point this out. Hey, guys, if you think this is just a girl thing, like this essential oil thing and these natural cleaning products and like this is a girl thing, let me tell you something. Phthalates might interfere with testicular function by reducing testosterone. This is not a girl thing, right? This is a, this is a big deal. My husband heard that and he's like, where's the lemon? He does not use paint thinner to get paint off his hands anymore. He has lemon in his toolbox. He's a general contractor. He's like the manliest man and he uses every oil I have in this giant box over here. Nobody wants death to their man parts, right? Kelly, does, I guess we could ask in the chat, does anybody want death to their man parts? No. Ask them, do you want death to your man parts? Okay. All right. Can we just agree these are bad? Like we want to avoid these things. All right. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. We can do it. I'm going to call this the, how do you say, what's that sweet little Japanese woman that wants you to tidy up your house? KonMari? Is that right? Marie Kondo. Is that, do you say, I got con Mari, what, con Mari, is that what you say? You con <laughs> right? Okay. Your house is already, like, so reduced in oh, all of its parts, Joy, girl. Okay. You got well, it. Is, yes, like, you're the right. The con Mari Kelly version, okay? This is got the deterrent. Okay, you can do this the easy way or the hard way. You can go to EWG, and you can grab your suave shampoo or your head and shoulders or your, I <clears> dare you, I double dog dare you to grab your bath and body works soap or lotion and go put it in the environmental working group little calculator. And let me just tell you, if you see these red things, that's not what you want. So this is suave. We think it's suave. It's fine, right? It's cheap. It's easy. No. Loaded with endocrine disruptors, loaded with things that can cause toxicity, loaded with things that your body's going to have to get rid of. Keep in mind, anytime you take in a toxin, your body has to get rid of it. Your body has to work to get rid of it. And the more you take in, the harder it is to get rid of. And if you have any genetic predisposition that if you're like me, it took you till you were in your late forties to find it, there are some things you actually can't detox. So like for me, it was mycotoxins from mold. So my body built them up and built them up and built them up. And then my liver got sluggish and then my adrenal fatigue hit in there and everything was like the perfect storm. So I collapsed and one day could barely get out of bed and toxins are a huge part of that. Remember, guys, this is not just for the girls. I'm about to talk about some things that I want you to not tune out. Death to your man parts is not cool. This is not just for girls and also for our little men, like for our boys. This is so important. Okay, you ready? I'm going to make making the switch really, really easy. Okay. Remember, your challenge tonight, guys, is to pick two, maybe three things that as we're talking, you can see that you can make the difference in. Okay. So before we jump in super deep, I just have one more thing to say about this. Have you seen the doTERRA wellness pyramid before? Maybe, Cal, have they seen this? Probably so, right? So nothing is a magic bullet. This is all like, this all has to fit together in this beautiful picture. But that one, two, three, fourth line is reducing toxic load. And I'm going to show you in a minute how we're going to make that so easy. 
But my, like I mentioned earlier, a lot of chronic disease I'm finding with my friends and in my coaching practice is related to toxicity, but we still can't skip this first step, right? If we don't have a good foundation for our body to actually have the capacity to detox things, then we're not going to get anywhere, okay? And so the number one thing, you've probably heard of this before, the number one thing I'm going to recommend is what we call the Lifelong Vitality Pack. And let me just say, as a healthcare professional, I'm a complete and total supplement snob. In fact, I sold doTERRA essential oils and taught classes for a long time, maybe a year before I even tried doTERRA's Lifelong Vitality Pack because I was taking professional supplements that I thought were better until my husband tried the Lifelong Vitality Pack and got such great results from it. He was like, babe, like your big issues are pain and fatigue. And I like, this is helping me so much. Just freaking try it. And I did. And it was incredible. And I could get out of bed for the first time. And then a couple of years later, I had a doctor take me off of them and I was desperate to feel better. So I did what he said and I went off of them. And then a few months later, I went back on them. And now I'm like, I'm never going off of them again. They make the biggest difference in anything I've ever done. And y'all that know me, and if you don't know me, you're just going to believe me. I don't say that to sell you a product. I say that because it has completely and utterly changed my life. I know what it's like to not get out of bed. And I know what it's like to go to the store and have a panic attack. I know what it's like to not sleep. I know what it's like to yell at your kids and feel terrible and not feel like you have control over it. I'm not saying this makes that magically go away, but I am saying if you don't have the foundation of these core nutrients, you're not going to be able to detox. And let me explain that just a little bit better. One of the products is called Microplex BMZ. It's a multivitamin. It's just a good food-based multivitamin that your body can absorb. Okay. There's nothing magic about a multivitamin except that it's probably one of the most important things you can do for detoxing. And here's why. I could show you this complicated pathway here. Maybe I have one. Here, this is my own lab test. Can y'all see this by any chance? See how these arrows? All those arrows are enzymes, okay? Enzymes require cofactors. Most of our cofactors are vitamins and minerals, like B vitamins. If you don't have the right B vitamins or vitamins and minerals, these cofactors, these arrows don't work. And that means this hormone doesn't convert to this hormone, which doesn't convert to glutathione, which is how we detox. So such a simple example. Like I just gave the most simple example, but as an idea, I just want you to hear vitamin and minerals are incredibly important. They're not like a step, step to skip over. The next thing in this product line that I love so much is our Z Omega. So it's going to be your omega fats. So many great benefits. I could do a whole class on from brain health to skin, joint, hair. But what I love most about it is our product is loaded with essential oils. One of the essential oils that it's loaded with is clove. Clove has the highest antioxidant value of any food on the planet. You could eat like, I can't remember how many pints of blueberries. Oh, I have it here. 40 quarts of blueberries to get the amount in one drop of clove. Just, no, sorry, one bottle of clove, but just incredible, incredible antioxidant capacity. And then the other thing that's going to be in this product is something called Alpha CRS, which is going to be your antioxidant. Um, it's going to have a lot of ingredients. If you're a supplement junkie, you've probably heard of it's going to have resveratrol, it's going to have coenzyme Q10, alpha lipoic acid, turmeric, or um, curcuminoids, just so many things to help with pain, inflammation, mood. And again, going to help help the liver a little bit. It's going to help open up some pathways. It's going to help you be able to detox when you do the things I'm about to tell you for detox. So if you're not on something like the Lifelong Vitality Pack, I, I really urge you don't even consider doing a detox program until you've got some core nutrition in because it, it may backfire on you. You just, you may not be able to tolerate it. Now that said, once we get you on something like the Lifelong Vitality Pack, your number one weapon in the war against toxins from uh, getting them out of your body is Zendocrine. Kelly, do you love Zendocrine? Um, I was just going to say, I, I love life vitality, but when you talk about this detoxification, it's, it's the core. It's like I presented on this a few weeks ago, um, a year in the life of a family who loves doTERRA. And we just went through these seasons and lifelong vitality is absolutely something we use every single month, but this extra element that helps you to detox, it's like, you can't have, 
You can't have this endocrine do its job without the lifelong vitality, but lifelong vitality can't do the job of Zendocrine, right? That's a great example. Yeah. It is. It's such a great example. Zendocrine is a blend of oils. A blend just means there's several oils combined into one. It has some very powerful oils for detoxification. You've probably heard of cilantro for heavy metal detox. It's in your Zendocrine. Just some great detoxification oils. And it's so simple and so safe to use. So this can be used for every member of the family. This is not going to give you a heavy detox reaction or even a heavy die-off reaction. This is a really gentle but very potent detox that you can do every day. Again, and what we're talking about is a detox lifestyle. It's of my very strong belief that if we will make changes daily to a detox lifestyle, then when we do our, our cleanse, you know, a couple of times a year or something like that, it's going to actually give us what we need because we're getting, we're not accumulating so many toxins all at once. And again, living in the life that we live we cannot avoid toxins. So Zendocrine is incredible. It comes in two, three forms, actually. There on the bottom right, you see that it comes as the essential oil in a 15 ml bottle, just like all of our doTERRA essential oils. And it also comes in little soft gels. Let's see if I have one here. So it also comes in these tiny little soft gels, just like this, okay? They're teeny, teeny. So my two-year-old swallows them. Sorry, I don't have a two-year-old anymore. My four-year-old swallows them, but she did take them when she was two. Um, the way that I like to use endocrine in my family, I'll talk about my kids first and then me. I like to make a roller bottle. How you dilute that is up to the age of your kids. I like to fill the bottle about a quarter of the way with Zendocrine and the rest with fractionated coconut oil. I have it. I have a little like Target style little medic metal like cup thing, like a little basket, bucket, bucket. That's what I'm trying to say. I have a little bucket that sits on my kitchen table and it has their PB assist probiotics. It has their chewables and it has their Zendocrine roller right there. It also has their calmer oil and some other things that we do for sensory stuff. And every morning and every night when we sit down for a meal, my kids know they grab their little pixie stick, which is our probiotic for kids. They grab their Zendocrine and they roll it right over their liver, which is just on the right hand side, right under the ribs. I don't know if you're a four and six year old know where their liver is, but mine does, right? So it's right <laughs> under the ribs, right on the right hand side, all the way around their back. And they just do a couple of circles and that's it. I also will do a detox bath for them. So I'll put a cup or two of Epsom salt in a bath. I'll take a little bit of Zendocrine and I'll put it in a little tiny container with a little bit of fractionated coconut oil. I don't like to add oils directly to the bath water, especially for kids, because they could float on the water and they could get, you know, just hot in a spot or sensitive. So I like to just put it in a little bit of coconut oil because that will kind of help dilute it a little bit. And then I'll put that in the Epsom salts and put it in the water. And I'll put five to 10 drops of Zendocrine in their bath maybe once or twice a week. I don't do the bath every day. Um, they don't take a bath every day, but I don't do a Zendocrine every bath, but maybe a couple of times a week I'll do Zendocrine and baking soda for the kids and, and for, for me. Um, that's a really simple way to do that. And then for myself, I'll take the Zendocrine and I'll do the roller as well. And I'll do the bath as well. But in addition, I'll take it internally. So I like the soft gels. They're easy. I take them with my other vitamins. I just take one with each meal. I also have the oil. And on days where I know I've been exposed, if I'm feeling really sluggish, if I was out at a park or I've just kind of gotten to know the environment and I know when I'm hit with toxins, I'll do a little extra Zendocrine in some water or in a smoothie or something like that. But I take it every single day, twice a day. And when I've gotten hit with something, I'll take it three to four times a day for a few days. Are there any questions about how to use that Zendocrine, Kelly, before I go to the complex? That yeah, that was a good question. So one of them was about the... Um, the pixie stick that you mentioned. So the PB assist junior, um, is there a time when you would want to double that up? Like that you'd be concerned about gut health. And then one more question, um, a question about, um, remind us how often you utilize the doTERRA detox and what's your regime? Like it says regime, but I think that means regimen. Yeah. Yeah, so the Cleanse and Restore program, Kelly, if you want, you could maybe even put it in the chat or email them afterwards, yeah. but it's in the Cleanse and Restore program. Um, and the Cleanse and Restore is a series of products. It's going to have your lifelong vitality because, again, you have to have these vitamins and minerals to be able to push. It's called the P450 pathway and some other pathways. You have to be able to push these enzymatic pathways and stuff for you to actually be able to detox. So lifelong vitality is critical. It has Zendocrine. 
It actually has this endocrine complex, which I'll talk about next. And then it's got support for the gut, like probiotics, as well as a GX assist, which is going to help with pathogens in the gut, parasites, bacteria that might be lingering around. And I love to add DDR prime, which is our cellular support, because we want to deal with health at the cellular level and oxidative stress and things like that. So I'd like to recommend people do that at least two times a year. And I think three times a year is great. Really mm -hmm. great. People that are chronically ill with some of the things that I've talked about might benefit. I should use a different word. People that are really struggling with some of those symptoms that I've talked about might benefit even from doing it more often or even doing it um, on a prolonged basis. So for like two to three months, staying on that cleanse and restore type product, um, which is what I did at the beginning of my detox. Um, so that is an option. The Zendocrine Complex, um, I'll talk about the Pixie 6 in a second. The Zendocrine Complex, it's the same name, which I find a little bit could be confusing. So, so, so listen, <laughs> the Zendocrine oil is just the oil. So this one on the bottom, right, this right here is just the oil in a supplement format. Okay. It's nothing but the oil in a supplement format. So you have a choice. You can do one or the other. This up here, this orange label in the top, right is what we call a mechanical product. Okay. So it's called Zendocrine complex. It's not an essential oil-based product. It's an herbal botanical product. So it's going to have some very different ingredients that are going to help really support opening up all the detox pathways. This is something that I recommend you do along with the cleanse and restore program a few times a year. Or if you're somebody that's needing to do a longer detox, you could take it daily for a few months. I think that you should do that in conjunction with a healthcare coach or a provider that can help kind of track some labs and things like that for you just to see how long you actually need to be on it. But it's a great, great, great product to take a few times a year. Um, and then the pixie sticks, oh my goodness. We could talk all day about gut health, but the Pixie Sticks is probiotic, sorry, is PB Assist Junior. They're little Pixie Sticks for kids. They don't have sugar. They have xylitol, which makes me really happy. My kids just open them up and like chug them like candy. And yes, there are times you want to double up. In fact, my little one right now is something called SIBO small intestine bacterial overgrowth. She has pathogens in her gut, the good bacteria um, you need and you want more good than bad. But right now she has too much good. And so things are out of balance. So she gets a lot of bloating, a lot of gas, a lot of mood swings. It's super fun, let me tell you. So she is right now on some, she's on Zendocrine and we have her on some other herbal microbials. And then she's on double pixie sticks and she'll be on double pixie sticks for probably about three months. And then we'll reevaluate her. Um, the other time you might want to do double probiotics for adults and children is after any antimicrobials, whether they're natural or antibiotics. So really important. And I double them up anytime somebody's sick too because they can really boost the immune system and ideally um if you have kids that are like hyperactive add any of that stuff sugar i just i know it sounds like you know you always hear that probably but it's just so important but another thing you can do is double up those probiotics while you're working on some diet changes too so here's a really cool thing about diet too that maybe i'll stump some people i'm really looking to say something nobody knows so let's see about this one do you know why you might take digestive enzymes on an empty stomach I'll give you a hint, but you cannot Google it. Do you know what autophagy is? Anybody know what autophagy is? Do not Google it. That is not fair. Kelly, any ideas? I, I was going to give you my answer for the digestive enzymes based on some really solid advice that you gave me years ago, like a year what? ago when we were in the midst of moving. Um, and I just remember you saying like, this is your body, your gut is, your stomach is empty and that you need this to help just process the things that are still left over. That's kind of all I remember, but I don't even know how to say the word you just said. Okay. So autophagy, at, oh, let me see if I can spell it. A, let me, I'm going to have to write it down. I can't say it out loud. A-U-T-O-P-H-A-G-Y, autophagy, autophagy, but autophagy. Okay, autophagy, at least that's how my English nutritionist says it. Maybe some people say it different, but autophagy. Autophagy is actually intracellular cleanup of debris. So inside your cell, you have what's called organelles, you have mitochondria, and you have these little, you have all these things inside your cell. Your cell is like this whole stinking village. Like inside every cell in your body is like this whole tribe of 
things happening. Autophagy is that those things die. They regenerate and they die. And autophagy is the intracellular cleanup of debris. When things die, they leave behind waste all over your body. Okay, not waste like your stool, waste like these little cellular particles. In fact, I put a picture in our um, in our community group, in our Facebook community group for our customers the other day of what a virus looks like. And it looks like this, this thing out of like Star Wars. Yeah, a virus is yeah. like this easy thing. Well, when that sucker dies in your body, it doesn't just go away. It kind of breaks apart and leaves behind all this debris. So we have to mop up that debris because those suckers are so smart when they die and they leave behind this debris, they leave behind these toxins. Mm -hmm. There's they release toxins. They're trying to get you to not kill them. So they release toxins when they die. So your body's like, Oh wait, do we kill it? Do we not kill it? So you got to mop up these toxins. It's called a die-off reaction. A die-off reaction can make you feel worse than the actual infection, but it's a necessary part. Terrazyme mm -hmm. can help with that. It can help clean up intracellular debris. It can help with these sort of die-off mopping up. It can also break down the cell wall of certain bacteria and viruses so that your antimicrobials. Now, when I say antimicrobial, I don't mean penicillin. I mean natural antimicrobials like oregano, right? So when they can get in and actually kill these things because it breaks down their cell wall or there's another fancy term called biofilms, terazine can be part of that. It's not the only thing that you need to do for complex um, viral and bacterial illnesses, but terazine is part of that. So take terazine with your food to help digest food and get the most out of it, but also take it at night before bed on a totally empty stomach and it's going to help mop up some of that intercellular debris. This is going to help remove toxins. It's also going to help with inflammation. It's going to help bring down the inflammatory response, especially a, a product like Terrazyme because it has what's called protease enzymes. Did anybody know that? I did. I did know that part. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's talk about what you can do. Number one, drink clean water. Okay. I'm just going to get a little bossy now. Throw away your plastic water bottles. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say it. They're loaded with toxins. They leach into your water. They're terrible for the environment. And your children are going to be exposed to them at sports events, at parties. We're not going to never drink out of a plastic water bottle, but don't drink out of them at your house. I'm just, I'm just going to say it. It's an easy switch. Now, again, you're going to pick from the things I'm saying. So if you're mad at me right now about the water bottles, just pick something else. It's okay. But for a lot of us, this is such an easy switch. So a Berkey water filter, Kelly has one of these. I have one of these. You shed to house people. I have one in my tiny RV. You can find counter space for this Berkey water filter. I promise. Kelly can show you where hers is. You can do it. And it's so great. You can even use this in an emergency. If we have any preppers or closet preppers out there, you can filter rainwater. I almost did it during Harvey when there was seven feet of water in our backyard. Almost. I didn't, but I almost did. Okay, so Big Berkey is great. If you can afford and manage a whole in-house system, that is even better. That's amazing. But another really simple tip, in addition to drinking clean water, is grab you a bottle of lemon. It's only $10, way less than your $4,000 whole house filter, and drop it in your water some. It's also going to be a natural detoxification agent in your body. It's going to help your body naturally flush toxins. I could get into the science and why I'm going to do that, but I think y'all are sick of that. So I won't, right? Just trust me, a few drops of lemon or any citrus oil and super simple switch. Just going to get bossy again. Y'all, I know the Yankee candles are cute. They're terrible. I know the Glade plugins, maybe your boss plug them. They're phthalates. They're loaded with phthalates. I have so many friends that have Yankee candles with kids with asthma, or they have Glade plugins and they're struggling with skin disorders or hyperactivity or whatever. Remember, phthalates is death to your man parts, serious reproductive issues, major brain issues. All of those scented products are loaded with phthalates. Such a simple switch. A diff diffuser is so much cuter, and you can mix up the oils and they smell so much better. So just switching to a doTERRA diffuser and some essential oils is such a great option to get rid of all those Glade plugins, room sprays, all of that. Super simple switch. Another one that's really simple and I'm going to get even more bossy about, especially for our teenage girls, your skincare routine. I had no idea when I started looking at what is in skincare products and I started working with friends now because now I have friends bring their daughters to me sometimes with 
hormone problems, thyroid problems, chronic fatigue, all of this. And the first thing we look at is toxicity now. And when we evaluate their environment, we see they're using Maybelline, Neutrogena, MAC, Sephora. It's loaded with chemicals that are destroying our girls' reproductive systems. I just... I don't know how else to say it other than that. So, but such a simple, simple switch too, because doTERRA makes it really easy because they don't put any of these things. You see this list here? There's none of these things in any of doTERRA products. So if you're like me and you love to research, bring it on. Like I'll answer all your questions. If you're not like me and you don't like to research, trust me, they make it really simple. You can order anything from doTERRA's website and it's not going to make you sicker. And Kelly, the spa products are incredible. Like they aren't like, Second rate. I mean, the body butter is like heaven. Butter. It's heaven. like butter. And here's what I'll say for those of you who are homesteaders. I uh, have never felt as clean. And I don't like we're not a super sanitized kind of family. Like, you know, us, our kids walk around barefoot and all those good things. But um, getting in after a long day and using that sugar scrub not only feels good for my body, but it hydrates my skin and it helps me, especially in the winter months to avoid the cracking that happens just when I'm out working in our yard. Like you guys are all working on your houses, just like we are. You're avoiding toxins where you can using the Berkey. If it's possible, don't miss that step in your hygiene products. Mm -hmm. Kelly said this earlier, what you put on your skin is in your body. Your, body, your skin is alive, it's an organ, and it's absorbing all around you, just like the air that we breathe or you know the unexpected hidden exposure to these toxins. Don't choose that now knowing what you know with what Kelly shared. Yeah, all the Zendocrine in the world, I still say do it, use it, use it, use it, use it. But all the Zendocrine in the world will not completely compensate for continuing to use skincare, hair care, deodorant, toothpaste, mouthwash. In fact, let's talk about how simple that is. doTERRA on guard products alone. If you just want to start with one place, start with some of the on guard products, swap out your cleaning products. And here's what's so cool about it. This is an area that's so simple because it's not going to cost you anything. Let me show you. Mm -hmm. It's actually going to save you money, a, a significant amount of money. So when you take my challenge, let me move my slide just a little bit. When you take my challenge to make the switch with some of the doTERRA cleaning products, you can keep buying your Myers Green Day thinking that's, you know, healthy and green. This bottle of what we call on, on guard concentrated cleaner makes up to 24 bottles. It comes down to 47 cents a bottle. We have this really cool thing called the loyalty reward program. It's totally optional. The Tara is not about like roping you into some membership that you're stuck buying every month, but we are about encouraging and rewarding people and making it simple for you to get free products. So one of the coolest things is if you add something like this to a loyalty reward program, you save even more money by getting points for free oils. This brings it down to be so, so, so cheap. One bottle of concentrated cleaner, it's what I clean my whole house with. I threw away everything else. And the other cool thing is I don't have to have child safety locks on my cabinets because my house is truly safe. It's not going to make my kids sick. And by the way, are there any pet lovers? We had um, a, a vet, the essential vet. If you've ever looked her up, Janet Rourke in Austin, she's incredible. Um, she had come and talked to us and she was talking about how toxicity is so important for pets and getting cleaning products, green cleaning products into your home because your dog licks the floor. I mean, if y'all are like us and the Brothertons, your four-year-olds lick the floor too, but your dogs lick the floor a lot more in most families. And so both for your pets and your family, this is just so important. So we have a whole list of on guard products that Kelly can share with you. We have hand soap, we have hand sanitizer, we have laundry detergent, whole list of super easy things that make it so fast and easy to make the switch. And then again, we mentioned the, the, the personal care products, the shampoo and conditioner is all my whole family uses. My kids love it because the shampoo has glitter. My husband loves the glitter too. I'm just going to say the deodorant, the balanced deodorant is amazing. My husband's a general contractor, even pit paste did not work for him and it works so well for him. The skincare is so great, especially for your teenagers. Like I urge you as women, mature women to consider swapping out your skincare and not loading yourself with chemicals. But I beg you to do it for your teenagers. Give them a better chance than you had. They're going to be exposed to more chemicals than we are exposed to. Give them every chance that they have where you can, right? Don't put 
crappy chemicals on their face. Um, and then the toothpaste. Here's what my husband says about the toothpaste. I share this every time and he'd probably love it if I'd stop sharing it. Here's why he loves the toothpaste. Kelly, do you remember why Andrew loves the toothpaste? Yeah, I do. And honestly, I don't, I kind of don't blame him. You need to tell people why. Okay. My husband loves the toothpaste because he says, even after like two or three days, you don't have a fuzz. He said that in a class once. I was like, did you just tell everybody that it's been two or three days since you brushed it? <laughs> the mouthwash now that we have is even better. So, so I want to close with, um, I want to close with two more, one more super, super quick thing. Oops. Did I lose my screen share? Here, I'll get it back for you really quickly. Let me close. You can super quick things. Is my screen back up? You got it. Okay, super quick things. You can kind of customize some products. You can get a few on guard products. You can make the switch. Kelly can help you customize that. There's also two really easy ways to do that. And one is just the home essentials kit because it's going to give you some of the oils that you need to cover everyday emergencies like headaches and tummy aches, things like that. So you're not rushing out to get possibly medications from the drugstore that might be loaded with chemicals. By the way, a lot of prescription enteric coated capsules have phthalates. Death to your man parts and your prescriptions. Why? This is a problem. It also is going to help you get rid of all the glade plugins. It's going to get rid of the scented things. It's just funner. It's fun. Using oils is just fun. So the Home Essentials Kit is a really simple way to just kind of dip your toe in and start detoxing your home. My favorite way is the All-In Lifestyle Change Kit, which is the Natural Solutions Kit. And I love this because it's going to give you a selection of those toxin-free products, and it's just going to take the guesswork out of it. You're going to get the hand sanitizer. You're going to get some of the sand, hand soap. You're going to get some of the cleaning products. It's just going to make it really easy. Literally tomorrow, you could have this delivered, and you could throw away the junk that's under your sink, and you could make sure your home is not part of what's going to make you sick or sicker. And then I love that it comes with the Vitality Pack, the vitamins we've talked about, for people that like to alphabetize your spices, I know you're out there. You're going to love the little box because you can organize everything. It's got some of the spa products. You can check those out. And then it's got an amazing selection of oils, not only to handle life's little emergencies so you don't have to rush off to pay a copay, but also it's going to have products for sleep and stress. And we could do a whole nother webinar on just sleep and stress. And you know what? This one doesn't have Zendocrine. I wish it did because it's so important to me. But I talked mm -hmm. Kelly into giving one away. So if anybody yeah. is interested in the lifelong in the um, natural solutions kit, if you're new to doTERRA and this is how you want to get started, we would love to have you. We would love to guide you on this journey. I don't know if it was clear at the beginning, but Kelly and I are part of the same team. We support each other. We pour into each other. We're part of the same Facebook group. So I'm here to support you right alongside her. If you have specific questions that I can help you with, I would love to be another guide for you on the journey. And we're going to give you a bottle of Zendikrin free tonight if this is the kit that you want to jump into because I just think it's so important. So Kelly, is that helpful? What questions do we have? I, I told you I couldn't do it in 30 minutes. I'm sorry. Are you kidding? It's so helpful. I think people are like, oh my gosh, don't stop talking. So <laughs> yes, um, you guys, I told you you were in for a treat and I'm not kidding you. This is a wholehearted buy-in, but because you know us from our channel, you also know that we're not really swayed or drinking the Kool-Aid. This is exactly who Kelly is. This is exactly who we are. And in the same way we would share with you by Berkey. A Berkey is going to change the quality of your life. We can't not tell you about how oils will change your life. And we also don't want to just sell you oils. We want to invite you into this community that Kelly has so tirelessly created and invited us along to. So for those of you who are already here, if you've done oil let us know in the comments. If you've enjoyed our community group, let us know in the comments because here's what I hear more than anything. When I talk to people about oils who've been exposed to other companies or maybe just purchasing them online or through the grocery store is I have these oils, but I don't know how to use them. So just from the privacy behind your own screen, if that's you, raise your little hand and then just know this there's a much better option for you. You don't have to just wait and come here on Mondays. If you are a part of doTERRA and someone else is helping you, come here and learn. Invite that person with you so that they can become a part of um, creating community with you. But if you're not already working with someone, 
We want to help you with that. Don't buy your oils from Amazon anymore. We've touched on what doTERRA has to offer and the quality is a whole nother class for us to talk about. But if you have questions about that transparency in our company, we can go on and on and on or send an email back and forth or do a one-on-one chat after this because it really does matter to us, not only that you buy oils, but that you feel confident using your oils and your membership. So once you get your oils in, they'll be in in about five days. Then we do a membership overview I hope those of you who are on here, we've got Tracy and the Botterfs and I think Jatan's on here too. If you've had membership overviews, yeah, Stephanie's here. Um, Then you also know the value of community and connecting. And that's such our heart for you to um, have these oils and then the tools. So Monday nights are just the tool for us. Oh yeah, Lynn's on here. Yay. Um, So you know the value of these oils and what Kelly didn't get a chance to say right here because she's so focused on the information is that that second kit, the natural solutions kit is the one that we started with. So when we knew we wanted to build a business, we called Kelly and said, no, no, I don't want the financials kit. I want the natural solutions kit. And she said, okay, let's do this and let's go hard in. And that is how we began to build our business was just getting oils using them ourselves, and then giving them to other people to try. And that's what God has provided through this little community of people is people who want to feel better. So we're building a team of people who want to feel better and help other people feel better too. It's so great to partner with Kelly because her whole mission in 2019 is so clear to help people heal and feel amazing. So that second kit actually comes with $100 in free oils when you place a qualified order the following month. Um, the Botterfs, yeah. The Natural Solutions Kit is the bomb diggity. I did not pay them to say this in the comments. It really is just that amazing. Um, so you can start with doTERRA in any way that feels comfortable for you. If, if a Natural Solutions Kit isn't your best fit, don't wait until you can afford the Natural Solutions Kit. Get started with oils in your house today because to make these changes that Kelly talked about, You have to have them in your house and then you have us to support you. So something that we want to give away, we always give away stuff because it's our favorite thing to do. We want to get oils in your hands is this digest and touch. So when Kelly's talking about gut health, when she's talking about making huge changes in your diet and your lifestyle, digest then is going to work on your diet of McDonald's. It's going to work better when your lifelong vitality is in the foundation of your whole foods diet. But none of that happens at once. It happens in a shift. It happens in steps. And Digest Zen is my favorite oil, especially in the touch form. I'm going to open this up, but don't worry, I won't use it. And this is in a roller. Yeah, you can just roll this right on your belly button. And whether it's a stomach bug that comes through your house and you really need support just to feel better, or you eat something consistently that upsets your stomach, you're traveling on a road trip or it's the holidays, you want to have Digest Zen in your toolbox so that when you need it, you have it. So we're going to give this away. Bo is going to pull up. Um, we use random.org. I think we've told you guys we this, but we use random.org. So if you filled out that form for the giveaway, go ahead and let us know right there. Anyone can win this. You don't have to be working with us, but um, we do have an exclusive group on Facebook for those people who are not working with someone else. So I know step. Butterfs, you're in it. Um, Rock of Blades, you're in that group. It's our Facebook group called It Is Well, Better Together, Oils and More. We're in the middle of a 30-day giveaway. That means every day in the whole month of April, we're giving away a, pra- a, a different oil each day, just based on how connected you are in the group, leaving comments and connecting with us. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Do you want to do it? Because I can't. Uh, can I do random org over here? Oh, you want me to do random.org? Yeah. Um, so in that group, if you're not already working with someone, then, then go ahead and jump in that group. And the only reason we say that is because doTERRA has this culture of honor. And it's just kind of really nice to have someone know that um, they're just going to honor the relationship that you're already in. So if you're working with someone, keep working with them. Reach up to them, connect with them, and see how they can um, offer you support with doTERRA. And like I said, invite them right here. Okay, you're good. Oh, you got it? Yes. And who is that? Uh, All right, Bo uh, told me somebody who's won. Uh, Stephanie. 
All right, Stephanie. But, but, but I don't know which one that is. That's okay. Stephanie R. Does it, yeah, Stephanie R. Does yes. it have the email on there? Yes, I have the email. Okay, cool. Yeah. So Stephanie R, send me your mailing address. I know I have it somewhere, but this will be faster to get your in the next week. Um, okay. So I know some of you guys don't have your oils yet. Um, but eyes to see ministries, let me just ask you this right here. And if you're comfortable letting me know, let me know who you enrolled with. Um, so either we can connect you with them or if you enrolled with us. Uh, okay. And if you don't have your oils yet, guys, then, um, and you want something more specific, send us an email at bettertogetherlife at gmail.com and we'll help you get started with your oils. If you want to talk about business, we'll help you get started there. But honestly, everybody begins with the oils. Everybody begins with the solution that you need in your household. So I'm going to look back through here and I know there's a little bit of a delay, so I'll pause for extra moments, but we want to make sure that your questions are answered. The most important thing for us is that you have solutions or at least the idea of solutions before we get off these Monday night calls. And if you're ready to get oils in your house, then we want to help you do that too. So I'm going to look back through any questions that you have there yet. And if you have questions, um, drop them now because while I'm looking, Kelly's going to be like, y'all, I have been planning for this all day and I am, she's going to be spent in about 10 more minutes and we want to just take care of her and graciously say thank you. I had the um, most honest testimony about digestion that I've ever heard. Uh, Do you hear it? Yes. Is it, is it dirty? Are we like going to feel like we need a shower? We, a sweet Nigerian friend the other day called me and she said, Kel, I cannot give her accent, but she just, it's so good. I know. I just said, I put it on my tummy and out all the gas came. (laughs) I was like, that's perfect. (laughs) That's exactly what it's supposed to do. I love that. And I, I miss all our Nigerian friends and Katie. That's such a highly recommend is what Kelly just suggested. Switch your deodorant. Like if you are using anything with aluminum or anything with fragrance in it, you need to stop because no matter how much lymphatic massage you do, you're just going to create more toxic buildup in your lymph system. And it doesn't have the pump like your heart does. So using a better, um, deodorant is a good idea. We actually have, um, a detoxifying mask that can be really sensitive on my face, but has been really helpful as I was switching deodorants to use just in my armpit. Um, And then just lymphatic massage. So an oil like balance or an oil like um, frankincense or even lemongrass can be really helpful. So depending on which part of the lymph system you're working to move, then you just want to use coconut oil, always dilute with a coconut oil, and then one drop of essential oil, and then apply that and massage physically. So you can't just, you know, like apply it and then let it go. Your lymphatic system needs that, that movement. It sounds like you're describing. So Kelly, what else? Fill in those gaps. That's all great. I think uh, I would ask, and you know, Kelly, you guys can talk about this on a one-on-one, um, but the first question would be why why focus on lymph movement? Now, it's mm-hmm. super important to focus on, but my first approach or my first question would just be to dig a little deeper and maybe help whoever that is. Why are, why are we addressing lymphatic movement? Like what's mm-hmm. going on that you've kind of honed in on that? And the reason I say that is just this before I answer the question is so often we pick this like, one area and Mm -hmm. it's great yes we need to do it but if you're if we're not doing the foundations of some good great and some good core detox and getting deep you know all the things we've already talked about would say lymphatic drainage lymphatic movement is a more of a phase two detox protocol after these things have been done however as a phase two everything that kelly said is right on another really simple thing is rebounding little rebounders trampoline, rebounding, little, you can get a little Amazon mini rebounder by rebounder. I mean, a little trampoline, like yeah. up and down rebounding movement, super, super effective. Dehydration is a big cause of lymphatic sluggishness. So making sure you're getting good quality water with your lemon or your grapefruit in it. Lymphatic massage is great. Craniosacral massage is all about the dural tube. but also has some lymphatic flow to it. And so You can look up something called craniosacral massage. If you're here in the Katy area, we have a great therapist, but they're kind of all over. Austin has a lot too. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
Digestive imbalance will back up the lymphatic system. And so making sure that you have healthy digestion. Um, and unfortunately, a really big one is chronic stress. Just mm -hmm. chronic stress really slows down the lymphatic system. And so being mindful, you know, whether that's meditation or prayer or whatever that is for you, we have some great oils that actually support stress response, frankincense being one of the number one. And so I use frankincense daily to support sort of that stress response. I use copaiba as well for the same reason. Um, and then another one that actually backs up the lymphs a ton is toxic exposure. And so all the things we talked about for detoxing is going to help move lymphatic movement and saunas can be really helpful as well. Infrared saunas can be really, really helpful. So I don't know who asked that question, but does that, does that help a little bit? Yeah, that's great. That was Bluebell 14. And then uh, let me see. Everybody, Kelly, is just like, oh my gosh, I learned so much tonight, which is why I knew as soon as we were going to start Every Day I'm Oiling, I just had to get you in front of our people because you run a very large team. You somehow, with grace and humility, also run a really incredible family. And you are a person who makes big topics approachable because you're willing to just say like, there's straight up no judgment. I just want to help you feel better. And that's something that I know everyone that we come across with essential oil questions or using oils already, even with other teams wants to know how they can, you don't like, they believe in this tool, but they want to know how to utilize it. And you do that so, so well. Um, some the busy little house asked about, um, oils for sinus. And then um, someone said their de-stressor is, oh, Rockablade says, my de-stressor is hammering out some steel. Don't get to do it as often I was, as I would like or need. But that's so for real, like remember, having a de-stressor for sure. Yeah. My husband chops wood. He goes out in the backyard and chops wood. That's yeah. what he does. I get it. Yeah, Bo's telling me something too. Uh, what are the, some of the things that we should look out for while building yeah. a home? That's so like with Andrew, like what are the, some of the things that yep. Andrew – stays away from whenever he's doing construction? Yeah, that's a great question. So um, I can't remember. I think it was Rock of Blades who asked this, Cal, but yeah. just one more and then we'll, we'll let this be the last one is um, how do we, because uh, a lot of us are homesteading when we're building our homes, what are some things we need to watch out for? And then maybe even second step, what protocol can we use or oils and tools can we put in our hands so that we can help reduce that or detox from those yeah. harmful things? Yeah, let me answer the sinus first and then we'll close with the big one. Um, so sinuses, essential oils are actually one of the most effective things that you can do for sinuses because guess what? Antibiotics don't work that well. We do not mm. have antibiotics to penetrate the sinuses really well. Now, disclaimer, essential oils are not intended to cure, prevent, or replace disease or replace <laughs> Um, not intended to cure disease or replace medication or advice of your qualified healthcare professional. And that said, as a healthcare professional, I'm telling you, antibiotics don't penetrate the sinuses very well. Chronic sinusitis is really something that's somewhat difficult to treat. And so essential oils work amazing for that. And so the digest and touch actually that Kelly, uh, yes. gave me, that's a great thing to roll right over the sinuses several times a day. It'll help open those up putting, um, a little steam bath together with a towel over your head and putting like some peppermint or some breathe or something like that in the water so that you can breathe that in is great for adults and children. Hilichrysum is incredible for the sinuses. You can roll it right over the sinuses. Mm -hmm. You can also take a few drops in a capsule several times a day, but then also addressing, is it like an acute, like a acute sinus infection, or is it a long-term, you know, more of a chronic and allergy thing? And so boosting the immune system to fight that off with On Guard daily during those seasons, or even Tri-Ease, which is a supplement that has lemon, lavender, and peppermint in it. Everything I just said, if you don't remember it or you're not familiar with them, just get with Kelly and just get a one-on-one. -on -one and she'll ask you, like, what are some of the major things that are concerning in your family? And if sinuses is one of them, everything I just said, that woman would have answered the exact same way. These are, this is just a topic that we deal with really frequently with our with our customers and so that is something that we can 
we can help so, so much with. Another thing that's a non-oil thing, right? That, I mean, again, we want you guys to get better. We just don't want to sell oils. So I love essential oils as my first line, but a non-oil thing that I really like is colloidal silver or actually hydrosol silver, even finer particles than colloidal. And I like Argentine 23. It's A-R-G-E-N-T-Y-N-E-23. You can get it on Amazon and it's in a spray bottle. And you can do that a couple of times a day right after your essential oils. And it'll actually help move them into the sinuses a little bit better. Um, You can just put a little bit on the top of your nose here. or You can even put like a drop of rosemary in a neti pot. And you can do a sinus rinse with that and then follow that with your Argentine 23. And that's a silver, a silver, which is going to be help with tons of pathogens and immune support. Okay. Building a home. I think we should consider doing a whole nother webinar with Andrew on that. I am not the expert on that at all. However, in my research, what I have found in just dealing with our own home, I don't, I'll have to look up the name of it, but there is a specific sheetrock that is like the lowest toxicity. Like it's made of something different than sheetrock and it's really low in chemical off gassing. I'll have to find the name of it. Kelly, you'll have to remember and I'll get it for you guys for your your YouTube. I mean, for your group or we'll, um, find out later. So I know there's like a sheetrock you can use. Um, but aside from finding out like clean building materials, one of the other most important things I think is building a house that's going to be mold proof and mold free. And so, you know, in your, in your shed to house conversions, for sure, getting a dehumidifier in there, especially in an area like Texas is really, really important. Another thing that we do is we diffuse essential oils quite a bit. On guard is really great to help decrease kind of, you know, the mold in the house, things like that. Cleaning with your essential oils is great, but in a small space like that, it's also important just to decrease the amount of chemicals you're adding into Mm -hmm. the space. So use your lower VOC paints. Um, you know, some of your more expensive flooring is going to have less off gassing, leaving your flooring outside. I know it has to like adjust to the humidity and the temperature, but if you're not living in your house yet, like letting it off gas as much as possible before you move in. If you are living in it and you don't have that option, doing it on clear, dry days, keeping the windows open. But honestly, that's where you're going to want to double or triple up on your Zendikrin. If you're building your own and you're in there and you, you know, you're laying the floors yourself, make sure there's lemon or grapefruit in your water and take your, your, your um, Zendikrin like several times a day, you know, get your oils diffusing. And again, I think this is where we, we do the best that we can. And so if you don't have a choice but to put down your vinyl floors, right, and you can't off-gas it, well, definitely don't follow it by cleaning them with bleach or spick and span, right? Like use your on-guard concentrated cleaner. Yeah. Um, but I think that's that's an interesting topic on house materials. I have read some things and I have some resources. So maybe we'll do a little digging in that and we'll do another one with Andrew and see if we can't provide some more help for that because there are some things that you can do. Um, I'm just not the expert in those, but I will be after a few hours of research and I'll get back to you. I know you're fierce, Cal. Thank you. And I know that there are more questions. So if you guys need a one-on-one, send us an email, bettertogetherlife at gmail.com and we will get you answers for the questions that you have. But can everybody just like exclamation marks, emojis, capital letters, all of the things to say thank you to Kelly. Like she comes here just because she cares. And we know that no one cares about what we have to say until they know how much we care. So I hope that you felt that from Kelly today and you trust us to know that we're going to bring you incredible conversations here, um, whether or not you're getting oils with us, just because we want you to have the resources that we've had so that we feel confident using our oils and our membership. And there's no hesitancy in me to say that Kelly has absolutely influenced us in successful ways of using our oils to solve everyday problems. I don't know what we would do without this incredible person. So I hope that you learned tonight and you're our essentially best group because you're already a part of our heart and go shout that out to her as well there because we just can't love on this woman enough and say thank you for giving your time and your talents and your resources to help us do all of this better and you are helping us to heal and feel amazing and I'm so grateful for you my friend 
Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, You're welcome. I want to say one last thing. And that is those of you that are watching, um, like it's my honor and pleasure to share this, not only because I love the Brothertons and I love this team and it was fun. And my husband did a men's group. My kids are asleep. What else was I going to do tonight? Right. But (laughs) the other reason, and I mean, this is who else do you know that needs to hear Mm -hmm. what tonight because maybe you're not dealing with some of those things. Maybe you're not dealing with high toxic burden. Maybe you, maybe you can get out of bed every day without having pain and maybe you don't have panic attacks at the grocery store. But as someone who's been there and as someone who's held the hand and cried with so many people who have been there and don't think there's hope, I'm not promising that there's a magic bullet. It's taken time, but I am promising this. I am promising that there's a group of men and women that will walk this out with you. That mm-hmm. will journey with you and that will love you and make sure that you are known and heard and that there is hope and there are solutions. And some of them are simpler than you might have thought. Mm-hmm. Right. And so who do you know that needs to hear what we talked about tonight? Would you please mm-hmm. share that with them? Share this link with them. Get them connected with Kelly. There's just no need for the people that we love mm-hmm. and care about to be journeying through some of these hard, chronic difficult things alone when there's a community, a tribe of people that want to help people feel better and, and yeah. we can be that for them and we can be that for you. And so please connect people that need to hear what we have to say tonight. Kelly, awesome. Wow. You're a joy. It's a pleasure to be with you. Thank you for loving all these people so well and for providing these yeah. awesome things on Monday nights that we can go deep and really help people feel yeah. better. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you. You're amazing, Kelly. Thank you so much. And thank you guys for being here. We say this every week and it doesn't lose its flavor, y'all. It doesn't lose its salt. It really is better together because you're here. Without you, this channel would be nothing. We would be talking to ourselves. Without you sharing this information because you care about other people, um, we wouldn't be living on our homestead. And without you, we would have a very like sterile conversation and community. It would just be us talking heads. So thank you for commenting, commenting back and forth with one another. Um, Monday nights happen because you guys are here and it is better together with you. So thank you guys. Thank you, Kelly. Have a great night. Go get some rest. And we so appreciate you. Thank you. Good night, guys.